People living in Polk County are getting prepared as well. They're not taking any chances because they remember Hurricane Charlie. That storm took a detour and slammed the area. News Channel 8's Melissa Marino is joining us live from the county's emergency operations center. And uh, this is a storm everybody's taking seriously, but they know all too well in Polk County, don't they, Melissa? Absolutely. They know here just how unpredictable that these hurricanes can be. They aren't taking any chances here, and neither are residents. Packing heavy rain and strong winds. War zone. Charlie quickly changed course and slammed into Polk County, ripping through Bartow, Fort Meade, and Lake Wales, catching everyone off guard. Coming across from the Gulf, and then it took that immediate uh, northeast direction. And uh, mom said it was like a train on top of her house. For those who lived through the nightmare, it's impossible to forget. Ron Jakeway returned home to find destruction. Uh, I couldn't get home to Orlando International for like three days. And uh, our home we built in 75 and had about 85, 90 grand settled damage and we put another 50 with it. It's those memories from more than 10 years ago. Water, just two, don't want to be greedy, and uh, a little $13 grill. That has him and others preparing for the worst, knowing the worst may be coming. This one at Cat 5. Uh. Well, some of the staff here are in a meeting, but as you can see, the Emergency Operations Center, they are already activated to level two. That means more staff on hand. They're working longer hours just to monitor this storm with a message tonight to be prepared for the worst. Keith? All right, Melissa Marino reporting live for us. Thank you.